Sunshine Coast, Florida. I think not. How did this is turned it on once again? Today we're fishing with Steve Jingle from Tackleworld Kiwana aboard a 609 Stavy Craft of South Queensland Charter Services. Our skipper for the day is Smithy and he's promised me fish. He's better deliver or there's going to be trouble. coming out of a fishing charter is you've got a guy like Smithy who lives and breathes fish. He knows where the fish are, he knows what baits to go on, he even knows what time they're going to bite. So if you're on holiday, go into the foyer of your hotel, pick up a card and find a good operator. That's exactly how I found Smithy when I was here at a Tackle World Conference a few months ago. We're about 5 kilometres off the Lullabar, 25 metres deep and there are massive ships everywhere. This is a pilot boarding area. And what they do is actually take a pilot out of Brisbane, they'll come and put him on the boat, and because he knows the area, he'll drive that big boat into his home port. Very clever. Most good days fishing start with bait collection. Now you can pop into a tackle shop and get a block of pillies or mules if you're in the west, pippies or cockles, it doesn't matter. But if you're on the salt and brine, you can catch your own bait. Today we're chasing mackerel, cloning mackerel, yakkers and all those little fish that fish like to eat. We're using the sound that'll locate them. We can see them rippling on the surface. The boys are starting to catch a few. It's all coming together. This reef structure here today covers acres and acres of area and there won't be fish all over it. You've got to drag the fish into where you're fishing and make your own structure, so to speak. So, burly. Just threw a piece of that camera and you'll be happy about that. Some cut pilchard. Just start throwing some cut pilchard in the water. Very oily fish and as they drift down towards the bottom the oil will bubble up and will start to create some activity. Activity creates activity. Get the fish zoned in on our bait. I'm the king of gritters, but these are the ones smiling. Yeah, that's it, Paul. Yeah, no, it was just a nice little inquiry. I thought, oh, maybe another grinner, but then he hit with a bit more determination. Got a bit of bend in the rod, so it's not too bad. And you're using a mackerel for bait, mate? Yeah, yeah, using a little mackerel for bait, a little slimy mackerel. Love your work, mate, and that is a little cobia. And a nice little cobia, yep. You are a talented yeah. angler. Aren't they beautiful fish, mate? They are, they're actually. Really nice fish. A lot of people, at first, when they see these fish falling, they're not quite sure if they've never caught them before, think they're a small shark. Because they have that sort of bit of a shark appearance, and they will tend to run around up on the surface gonna, sometimes. You know what else they look like? They actually look a bit like a sucker fish. A remora? Yeah. yeah. They when you're that... swimming too deep in, and he'll take the peak, it's remora. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> Move over so I can net your fish for you. I'll stop singing. <laughs> that's that's that'd be a good one. Yeah, beautiful, mate. We've got another line there. And look at that. Just have a look how lucky you can be in fishing sometimes. That hook is hanging out there. The line is going through there. Jingle, you are the man. Let's put it back, mate. Hang her over the side. Back with all your little baby friends. It's so important to get a bit of air going through his gills. The air in the water. It's amazing. The fish can actually take that oxygen out of the water. It's giving the swim. He's been in the boat for a little while and he's got that tail movement going, mate. I reckon he might be good to go. There's beautiful water. Give him a little tap yep. and, and off he goes so that he's nice cruising here. away. Well, it's been a tough start, but all of a sudden it's all happening at once. Fish we don't know. Cobia, the baits are back in the water. Let's get ourselves another one. All fishing favourite is brought to you by Tackle World. exactly sure what's happening here. Steve's had a buffed up on the reef and my fish, you can see from the angle of the line, about 45 degrees for the water there, is way out the back. I had some shattering runs. I was actually playing around, he's even higher on the surface now. I was actually playing around thinking it was a small fish and I got stuck into him, which is a really good thing because I think I lifted him out of the reef. When I checked my leader on the light rod before, I could actually see that the knit line had been rubbed through the reef, so that fish got me back in the reef. 
Isn't he a gorgeous fish? Look at that. Gee, I love coves. Oh. We're going to let you go, mate. Be kind to us. We're going to let you go. Now, the way it works, T, when the fish comes to the top, you just flip the net under it. There's no rush. We're having a good time. He's just about to spend. There we go, Paul. He's the earth. Yeah, baby. Nice you know what my dad taught me when I was playing football for Cram in the under 13s? He said, Paul, if you can't play like a floor, at least look like one. So I always pulled my yellow and blue socks up nice and high. Now, let me just say, things weren't looking too hot for Paulie Worsting just about 10 minutes ago. I'm going to get these in there. Because I could not take a trick. Everything has gone wrong. But if you persevere, eventually things will go your way. Okay, oh, it's a keen fish, look at that, we've got a dolphin, a mother and a baby out there, how good is getting out on the water, there you go, off you go, look at that. The wind's picked up just a little bit, a small zephyr, the dolphins are still playing out the back. And I've got another bait going to the bottom. The fishing at the moment is hot. We believe Smithy has put us right on the wreck using his GPS and his sounder. He's bridled up and this is just going down. Now the trick is, when you feel the big ball sinker hit the bottom, winds up about five metres because if you go to the bottom, as I discovered earlier, you tend to get a lot of grinners and what we call mother-in-law fish. So I'm just waiting for the line to stop free spooling. You'll actually see when it stops, it's still running down. It should just go bang there. Oh no, it's still going because I want to hit the bottom and then bring it up a little bit just to make sure I'm right in the zone. It's a little bit deeper than I expected. Oh, a little twing there. The bait's a bit excited. There we are. Nearly. Stop. Over. Out. The reason it's not stopping is because there's a fish on there. Look at that. Yes. Come on. I've got to get away from that room. Oh. Now, it might not be the most attractive thing you've seen all day, but if I don't get him off the fish, come on, we're not going to see this fish, and I think I've managed to do it. How good is that, having fishing? You can just drop down, and have a fish there ready to eat your bait. This one's going to be a little green. Oh, beautiful precision. Oh. What a cracker fish. Just lay it down on the floor there. I should put that in the free pool. I am extremely excited. I'm just going to cut that line because it swallowed that owner hook. Oh, oh no, it's just there actually. I might be able to get it. don't want to go down too deep to try and get a hook out, but I can see it. So I'm going to go in, give it a bit of a turn. Here we go. And it's out. Best result for the fish. No hook. Thank you, Smithy. Love your work. Look at those dorsal spines too. They're the ones that nearly bit me just before, right up there, just behind the scone, and they would hurt if they got stuck in your foot. I'll just run this little beauty by the camera so you can have a good look. How's that stripe? I tell you what, when you're hanging this way, you can't beat a fish that breaks for Collingwood. Go pies. This one's going back. There you go, mate. You are a beautiful fish. I love your work. And enjoy. Now out here in deeper water, a normal rig like this would be a bit light, so you're going to struggle to get it to the bottom and uh, fish it effectively. So what we're going to use is a drop shot technique, where we attach the hook and everything to the line, it sits out proud. So you're plastic and sitting out there and jigging around and, you know, very lifelike. So on the end, we can use, then put 4 amp, 6 amp, 8 amp snapper lead, whatever's required to get down deep. So when that rig hits the bottom, and then you wind him up just a little bit, there's your plastic sitting out there nice and proud, and a couple of little glow beads in there just to add a little bit extra attractive. So it's all rigged up, here it is, I'm going to give it a go, and hopefully we'll be able to bag another one of these nice cobia. Yes! Oh! <laughs> so I missed a jingle! He's done it on the drop shot rig. I tell you what, I'm going to have to worry about my job. Firstly, that's a beautiful piece of camera explaining how the drop shot rig works. Now, right on cue, silk a fish. I uh, tell so, well, you, know, it's, it's a matter of adapting, you know. A lot of people are too scared to try things. Um, you know, you try all these things, and sometimes they look weird and wonderful. 
sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But um, today it's definitely working. This is a nice fish. But I thought plastic didn't catch fish like oh. fishermen. Mate, a lot of people talk about lures, you know. Uh, they're all painted up pretty and they look really nice just to catch fishermen. But, you know, they really do work. It's just a matter of um, a little bit of knowledge of what to do with them and using them in the right way. And they'll definitely catch fish. They always say, when in Rome does the Rome. The other thing I can't believe about people off Malulaba, they tell me one of the best ways to stop plastic is cast out like it has and just let it drift down on the burley trail and the current. They don't actually work them. Even there's no burley, they just let them slip on down. So I'm going to put this one in the... Rod holder, mate, so I can give you a hand. I think, oh, oh this is a bit oh, different. Oh, that's a pearly. A nice pearl perch. Oh, I love your work. Oh, perfect perch. How good is that, Mr. Dingle? Mate, I'm absolutely stoked. I've caught a lot of fish um, over the years with soft plastic, but this is my first pearl perch, and it's a really nice specimen. And I'll tell you what's amazing, a lot of fish are cannibals. Just have a look at that evil minnow in that pearl perch's mouth, that plastic, and have a look at the pearl perch. Tell me, when you look at that purple through there, that that does not look like a little baby pearl perch. He's come along and he's gone, I'm going to eat you. Well, it's just one of those sort of situations, Paul, where, you know, they say match the hatch and, you know, obviously the fish was feeding on something like that and who knows, they might uh, feed on smaller versions of themselves, so it's definitely worked a trick today, that's for sure. Well, we've learned a bit, drop shotting, slick baits, pearl perch on plastic, and you actually see where he's been biting in front of that plastic. i tell you what, Malulva, I'm excited, mate. This is quality. He's grunting, too. Now, Paul, do you know why they call them a pearl perch? Because they're pearlescent in colour, perhaps. Well, pretty close to it. This little bone structure up in here, once you get that out of there, it's like mother of pearl. It's a you know, beautiful piece of bone structure, and that's how they got their name, pearl perch. People are always ask me, Paul, what's new in fishing? Well, I tell you what, that's new. That little octopus jig. It comes out of Japan. It's called a kawaii. I think that means scary. You can see its brain on top there that actually glows lumo. And on the bottom, it bounces around, looks like a little octopus. We'll put it to the bottom and see if Cobia likes to eat hockey. How was that? How good that? The hockey, I just... Dougie Bird told me with these octopus jigs, you don't actually have to jig them. Now, oh, you got a code there. You don't, oh, you don't have to actually jig. Oh, stay up with these octopus. The way the Japanese fish them, and, oh, I think this guy's reached me. Oh, the way the Japanese fish them, it's just to basically hang them and let the motion of the boat, and we're rolling about, well, only about a foot each way. And just let the motion of the boat slowly rock that jig. Because an octopus, if you imagine it, would just sit on the bottom and just cruise around. And how good is that? Steve, are you taking that home to Vicky or are you going to let it go? Um, no, this one looks like it's going legal size, Paul, and uh, there's nothing like a good fresh feed of fish. I tell you what, there's I nothing like a good fresh feed of fish with someone you love either, is there? That's too, Paul. It is a beautiful thing. How are we going there, Paul? You ready for the next yet? Or Mate, you... I'm ready. I've just seen colour. That is just a cracker. And I'm excited. Steve, did you ever do anything before you sold fishing tackle for a living? Um, yeah, I actually used to uh, serve alcohol and food to people in restaurants. Uh, in the hospitality game for quite a few years. And tough, it? it is a tough living, um, but uh, I've been in the fishing game now for 13 years and I'm thoroughly enjoying it, actually. Right, I'm just going to slide this net. Look at that octopus jig in his dog there. Just nice and, oh, not ready yet. That cracker, come on, mate. Come on, come my way. I'm just trying to lead him through, but it's so light. Just gentle, gentle. I just cannot believe how good this is. That is the biggest cove for the day. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to use my towel to grab my tail, because I have learnt today that they're slippery little suckers. That's going to help no end. Look at that. And Dougie Bird, let me just say the cowboy octopus jig, they work pretty well. Why not become a member of iFish with Tackle World? Just go to the website to subscribe and receive exclusive updates, including showtimes. I just can't believe my luck today. If you're ever on the Cobia Coast, also known as Malulabar, check out South Queensland Charter Services.